Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. JB here with JB's RCs. Thanks for stopping by. Got a great running video for you today again. Got the Traxxas TRX4 tactical unit out at Arapeca Sandhills Preserve. This thing is modded out like a maniac. Love it. Quite the monster. So I think first off, we added some metal skids all over the bottom. So we got the center skid, the two axle skids, and the rear skid, and the two side skids, all metal. So a lot of weight added for that. And then we went ahead and added some uh, brass extensions on there. So a little five millimeter brass extensions on the axles, give a little more width. Uh, we removed all of the accessories off the rear, so spare tire, gas tank, uh, a couple other little things. I added that metal antenna instead on the rear bumper. Uh, we took off the front bumper completely and added a metal brush guard on the front there. So it gave it a nice tucked in, easy approach and a departure angle. We also changed out the ESC to a Holmes Hobbies, I'm sorry, a Hobbywing 1080, my usual for brushed. Um, the, the drag brake with all the extra weight with the XL5 ESC, the stock one, just wasn't good enough. So we threw that 1080 on there and that stepped up that drag brake for us. Uh, of course, we're running on 3S LiPo. Uh, we're still running a stock servo and stock transmitter receiver. And then we went ahead and added some 1.9 metal bead locks and some fantastic 1.9 J Concepts tusks. Uh, we added weights inside of those as well. So a lot of weight added to this uh, down low and it really performs like a maniac now crawls everywhere um, one thing I was a little disappointed with on this run was the uh, tires I didn't vent them uh, just because it is so heavy and I don't want them to squish too much and the rear tires if you haven't noticed yet they, they twist a lot um, they flex but then the flex stays so I think I'm gonna have to vent these uh, hopefully that fixes that problem um, or maybe I'll even change them out for something that I have with a little stiffer foam um, I actually have a set of Losi rock tires on a set of 1.9 beadlocks that are also unvented uh, with some way stiffer foams in them. So I think I'm going to switch those out, put those on here and see how they go. Um, I don't know if they're going to perform as well as these tusks, but we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification button if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, thank you so much. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, and please, always feel free to comment, guys. Uh, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and that way we can make the videos tailored to you. Um, that way you can enjoy them for longer and enjoy them a little better, maybe. Um, but again, I appreciate everybody, and I hope you're all having a great week. And get out there and have some fun.
Oh yeah. We've seen a few over there and over here. Yeah, I would like to get a big tiny one in my tank. Take it home? Yeah. Yeah? Put it in my big tank. Watch him grow? Yeah, watch him grow. Eat a guppy and shit. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, I had some at North. I had a bluegill and an Oscar and a big mud bath. Oh, those Oscars can get huge too. Yeah, that bluegill was the boss of the tank though. Tough fish. Survivor. Yeah, that's why there's so fucking many of them.